In this video, I will show you how to translate a small Word document in MemoQ 2015. First, let's have a look at the material we are going to deal with. We have a small Word document that looks like this. It's in Finnish and we are going to translate it into English. Then we have some sample terminology, Finnish English, available in the form of an Excel sheet. And finally, we have a TMX translation memory that uh, we will be using as reference. So let's switch to MemoQ 2015. We are going to create a new project, uh, but this time, instead of using the standard option, we will create a new project for template. Now we need to add the documents we want to translate, and we can do this either via the Add Documents link, or we can also drag and drop the documents we want to translate. So I will drag and drop this one and next. Now MemoQ tried to guess the source language but did not succeed. So it's not Swedish, it's Finnish. Target language is English. I will be using the WenTM per client template and I will say my client is Suunto, so that's the final client. And the project is a job number, for instance, this one. I'll click on finish. And now my project is already set up. So if I go to transition memories, I can see I now have uh, two transition memories that were set up for me. One is the working TM, uh, which we'll be using during the project. And the other one is the master TM, which will only be updated at the very end of the project. Now, in addition to these two TMs, I will create a third one. So here, create TM. I will call it Ambit3. That's uh, Finnish English and OK. And I will import into that TM the TMX that I showed you earlier. OK, my TMX has been imported and I have uh, 1200 entries in that TM. If I go to term base, I can also see that uh, term base was automatically set up for me. It's now empty, but I will uh, import terminology from the Excel sheet I showed you. The first field is Finnish, it's already mapped to Finnish correctly. The second field is English, and it's also mapped to English uh, since I had labels on the first row. But I will select, instead of English, I will select English United Kingdom to match the language code in my project. OK, and now the content has been imported. So I can start translating my document. I click on Translate. This is what the interface of the translation environment looks like. On top, we have a ribbon, which was introduced in MemoQ 2014 release 2. Here we have the editor or the grid with two columns, one for the source language, Finnish, and the second one for the target language, English. At the bottom of the screen, we have a preview of the document that will be updated in real time as we translate. And on the right hand side of the window, we have the translation results pane, which will be populated by various results as we translate. So let's start to translate our first segment, Nine Passet Alcun. In English, it's getting started. To send this translation to the working TM, we need to confirm it. And for that, we can use this icon here. There are several ways to confirm. The standard way is with Control Enter. So I can either click here or in the next segments, I can use Control Enter. Now my first segment has been confirmed. So the color turns to green and a green check mark was added on the right hand side of the status column. Now we are in segment number two and here we have two words that were recognized as belonging to the term base. The first one is uh, Painike. So it's uh, both highlighted in the left hand side column and it's also listed in the translation results pane. The second word was valiko, also highlighted and also listed in the translation pane. With these two words, the fragment assembly feature of MemoQ added a third entry in the translation results. That's painiket ya valikot, and there is a translation in English. So it's a kind of a poor man's machine translation, if you want. 
and uh, that assembled segment was automatically inserted into the target column. So I need to make a few changes. First, Pinecades, that's the plural form in Finnish, and same with Valiko. So I need to put the plural in English, so that's buttons and menus. And Ya yeah, in English, it's end. So now my translation is ready. I can confirm it with Control Enter. Now I have some more translation results in the translation results pane. The colors indicate what is the origin of these results. So the red one originates from my reference TM. It's a 51% match, so not very useful one. The second result, the blue one, is again a recognized term from my term base. And the third result with the orange color is what MemoQ calls LSC for longest substring concordance. So every time you open a new segment, MemoQ performs automatically a concordance search and tries to find the longest string in the selected TMs. So here we have uh, this string of uh, four words, soon to ambit three peak light tesa, and uh, we can have a look by right clicking and selecting concordance. We can see that indeed this string occurs three times in our reference TM. I won't be using it now, so I will just uh, enter my translation directly and I can confirm the segment with Control enter Now again, I have an assembled segment in which I only need to change this word here. So here to access it in English, it's access the. I can confirm this segment. And as I confirm segment number four, segment number six, which was identical, was automatically populated. So that's the consequence of the autopropagation feature of MemoQ. And it's also indicated by a green arrow in the autopropagated segment. Now I need to enter the translation for segment number five. There are two recognized terms. So there are several possibilities to enter them. The first one is to press control and the number displayed in the translation results pane. So for instance, Pina in English press two is number one. So I can press Ctrl-1 and that will automatically insert the English translation. The second possibility is to use predictive typing. So if I start typing P, MemoQ will automatically suggest the rest. I can confirm it with Enter. And the third possibility is to use the Autopic feature by pressing the Ctrl key like this. So now again, I have uh, two possibilities. If I select the first one, that will give me my translation. I will continue the rest of the translation. And now I need to enter Valiko. That's menu in English. So again, I can type M and I have my translation. I will confirm it. Control Enter. This one is already translated, was autopropagated. And now I have a 61% match that was inserted. It's not very useful. So I will select it with Control A, delete it. And instead I will enter my own translation. So Pina, that's result number six. I can press Control six. I can continue with my translation. And here I have a word, Taustavalo, that I want to search in my active TMs. And for that, I can use the concordance search feature. So here I have concordance, which is uh, Control K. So MemoQ performed the concordance search. I have uh, various entries in which the word Taustavalo occurs. I can see it's backlight in English, so I can select the word I'm interested in and I can use insert selected to have it copied automatically to the target segment. And now if I want to add this uh, term pair Taustavalo and backlight, I can do this with the add term function, Control E. Here it is, and what I will do, since Finnish has a lot of cases, so different forms, I will add an asterisk at the end of the term, and I will change it this way. MemoQ will recognize it, whatever form it occurs in future translations. Okay, and Control enter I confirm it. Now I have a 52% fuzzy match that I can use as the basis of my new translation. So I will copy it with Control one 
and I can see the differences compared to the previous translation. So previously we had uh, sur and taxesi, now we have pien and taxesi. So instead of increase in English, I need to enter decrease. And previously we had uh, ulospain, which was up. Now we have alaspain, which is down. So I have to change this word here, down and I will confirm my segment. Now I have a recognized term, bid up by Nettuna, that's key press two, so control one, and I'll enter the rest of my translation. And here, the end of the sentence is in italic, so I can highlight this portion of text, and I can either use the icon on the ribbon here, or press Ctrl I, like in Microsoft Word. I'll confirm the segment, and now I'm ready. And as you could see, the preview was updated each time we entered a new segment. My translation is now ready. Now I can move to Project Home. And in a normal project, I would select uh, Export and either Export Stored Path or Export Dialog to create the translated version of my document. But since we are dealing with uh, a project created from template, uh, I can have this done automatically for me. So I need to switch to the project tab here. And there is a function called wrap up. And uh, what it will do, it will first send all my translations to the master TM. So the master TM will be updated. It will delete the project TM, so the working TM, and it will export my document. So let's click on wrap up. Now MemoQ is performing its magic. If I go to Translation Memories, I can see that I only have the master TM left. And of course, the reference TM is still there. But my project TM that was created only for the need of the project was deleted. And if I move to my folder, I can see here I have the translated version of the document. If I open it, well, it looks okay, everything is in English and uh, has the proper formatting. So there you have it, how to translate a small word document in MemoQ 2015 using project templates. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.